everyone and welcome to Breathe Kids. Show us a big cheesy grin if you are ready for an amazing morning. If you are new this morning, thank you so much for joining us. We are going to have the best time together. My name is Lucy and myself and the Breathe Kids team are very excited that you are with us. We are now going to go into a time of praise and worship. So get yourselves ready. Let's go and praise Jesus together. so much fun. Last week we learned how God always gives us people to do life with. This week we're going to learn a little bit more about Paul. Let's watch this cartoon together. Slapstick Theatre 
Paul and Silas. This is Paul, oh, hey. who told people about Jesus in lots of different places. One day, Paul was walking with his friend Silas. Hey, yo. They were being followed by a girl who was controlled by an evil spirit. Her owners used her to make money. After days and days of this happening, Paul got so annoyed that he turned around and told the evil spirit to leave her. So the girl was free. But her owners got mad at Paul and Silas because they wouldn't make any money off of her anymore. And they had them thrown in jail. The jailer locked them up. Oh, man. Around midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing to God, and the other prisoners were listening. Suddenly, there was an earthquake, and the chains of all the prisoners fell off. Oh, what just happened? But Paul and Silas didn't leave, even though they could have. Several people decided to follow Jesus that night, including the jailer and his whole family. And the next morning, they were released from jail, and the city officials even apologized to them. Sorry about that. Paul and Silas encouraged the Christians in the town, and they continued on their mission to tell people about Jesus. See ya! That was an amazing story. Now is the time for you to go and get your notebooks, your Bibles, and your pens ready to take some notes. You have got 10 seconds. Go. Today I want us to look at what happened when Paul and Silas were in prison because something amazing happened. Turn with me to Acts chapter 16 verse 25 and we can read it together. It says this. About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing songs to God. The other prisoners were listening to them. Okay, so in the middle of the prison, Paul and Silas decided that it would be good to pray and praise God. They could have done the complete opposite. They could have complained and shut off from God because they had been thrown into prison. But instead, they chose to worship God. So, what is worship? Worship is where we give worth or value to something or someone. To worship God is to give the proper worth to God. Another way to define worship is to say it is giving glory and honour to God. God doesn't need our worship. He wants us to worship him. We read this in John chapter 4 verse 23. When we worship, our perspective will change because we are focusing on God and not on ourselves. It is powerful and it draws us closer to God. I love what happens because Paul and Silas worship the Lord. Turn with me to Acts chapter 16 verse 26 and we can read it together. It says this. Suddenly there was a big earthquake. It was so strong that it shook the foundation of the jail. Then all the doors of the jail broke open. All the prisoners were freed from their chains. My first point is this. When we worship, God moves. I always wonder what Paul and Silas were singing and praying to God in these moments. Whatever it was, God decided he was going to break their chains and set them free. Now, because of this, all the prisoners were set free and the prison guard was in shock. In fact, he was so amazed at what happened that he asked how he could be saved. Let's read in Acts chapter 16, verses 31 to 34. It says this. They said to him, Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved, you and all the people in your house. So Paul and Silas told the message of the Lord to the jailer and all the people in his house. At that hour of the night, the jailer took Paul and Silas and washed their wounds. Then he and all his people were baptised immediately. After this, the jailer took Paul and Silas home and gave them food. He and his family were very happy because they now believed in God. So, not only was the prison guard saved, but his whole family. How awesome is that? My second point is this. When we worship God, people notice. 
If Paul and Silas decided to stay quiet on that night, they may have not been let out of prison. Even more importantly, the prison guard and the prisoners may not have encountered God. Worship isn't just a Sunday morning thing, it's a lifestyle. Today, I want you to think about the different ways we can worship God and how important it is. As a response to this, we are going to go into a time of praise and worship together now. If you are with us in the building, you can stand and worship together. And if you are at home, you can worship with your family. I am going to hand over to the worship team. understand a little bit more about worship now. We will learn more about it soon. Let's pray. 
Lord God, we give you praise and we worship your holy name. Thank you for showing us in your word how we can worship you. I pray this week that we would live our lives in a way that brings us closer to you. In the beautiful name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. This week you have got a brand new memory verse to learn and it's from the book of John chapter 4 verse 23 and it says this The time is coming when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. That time is now here and these are the kinds of worshippers the Father wants. Say it with me, John chapter 4 verse 23 The time is coming when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. That time is now here. And these are the kinds of worshippers the Father wants. Why not highlight and underline this in your Bibles, write it in your notebooks, stick it on your fridge or your mirror so that you can remember this Bible verse. We have got a brand new devotional for you which you can find on the Breathe New Life Church website underneath the Breathe Kids Church section and if you are in church with us today you can find this devotional in your box which you can take home with you at the end of Breathe Kids Church. I have loved looking at this amazing story. I love learning more about the Word of God every week. We look forward to seeing you in person if you are around to come to church. Have a great week everyone. Thank you for joining us and we will see you soon. Bye.